All right, here's a, a question where you're trying to find the sum of this geometric series. So to find the sum, uh, here's our uh, formula. Sum is equal to A1 times 1 minus oops, R to the N all over 1 minus R. So that's our formula to figure it out. So um, sum of, oh, I don't know how many terms there are. So if I don't know how many terms there are, then I can go and use this formula. So this is the term formula for a geometric uh, series or sequence. So I know the last term is negative 132 over 32. I know the first term is negative 8. R, oh, I know R. R is uh, this one divided by that one. It's negative 1 half. All to the n minus 1. So here's a question where I'm searching for n, which is an exponent. So divide both sides by negative 8, and I'll get a positive 1 over 256 is equal to negative 1 half to the n minus 1. And here I get into trouble because a, a little bit because um, I've got a negative half here. I know I could change this like 1 over 256. I believe is one half to the uh, eighth is equal to negative one half to the n minus one, but the bases aren't the same here, so um, maybe I could change it to log form. Or the other thing that you could do is just start plugging numbers in there to see what number you'd have to put in in order to get this. I'd need to put in an odd number because an odd number minus 1 will give me an even, and when you take anything to the even power, it'll become positive. So I, I, I know I need to put in some kind of odd number. Anyway, if you do all of this stuff, it turns out that n is equal to 9. Okay, so if I know that n is equal to 9, so the sum of 9 terms is equal to the first term, uh, negative 8 times... 1 minus r is negative 1 half to the ninth bracket all over uh, 1 minus a negative 1 half. Okay, so uh, now what I would do with this one is I would just plug it into my calculator and figure out what it uh, comes out to. I guess you could figure out each portion of that like figure out what this is equal to, and then 1 minus that, and then take that whole thing and times it by minus 8. But with our graphing calculators, you could just do the whole thing. And what I would do is put everything on the top in brackets, everything on the bottom in brackets, and then just make sure you divide those two. So if you type that into your calculator, you'll come up with negative 171 over 32. Uh, if you start doing stuff in here, you could get into trouble if you miss some negative signs uh, or if when you're dividing, you're not dividing by like one plus a half would be three halves. You know, you could, you could switch that to two thirds or something. There's lots of little mistakes that you could get into. So uh, just plugging it into your machine and letting your calculator figure that is often uh, the best practice. Anyway, hopefully that uh, gives you a little bit of help with that question.